think speed will take it. Speed increasing. Increasing speed. So what will happen? The speed will increase. So therefore, what is A tangential? Non-zero. A tangential is what? dv by dt there will be a normal and a normal will be varying continuously both are non zero okay all of you because speed is increasing no and it is moving in such part just let's go for showing all the quantities once again so this will be the direction of b <coughs> centripetal acceleration tangential acceleration a theta total acceleration vector e and this is beta now what about alpha and omega they'll they'll be out of the plane but we have a practice of showing them like this both are in same direction and this is the radius Because speed increasing is speed decreasing decreasing speed particle moves with decreasing speed the last <coughs> again decreasing speed means what you write retardation tangential speed decreases but still so both are non zero okay what about the quantities how centripetal acceleration will be there See whether speed increasing or decreasing, centripetal acceleration will be directed towards center, not away from center. Don't change the direction of it. The speed is in fact decreasing, but let it be like this here. So a tangential will be in this direction. And the total acceleration vector will be like this. So this will be radius of the circular part. Let's come for even the omega also. Let's see how alpha and omega will be directed here. How the omega should be directed? Omega should be like this, no? How the alpha? Alpha should be opposite sense. Why? Because retardation, no? Omega decreases. So here, so what you can write it as alpha equal to d omega by dt. What about here alpha minus d omega by dt? Similar to in kinematics, what you have retardation. Say so whether speed of particle, speed of particle increases or decreases, how centripetal acceleration will be directed towards center. Don't, don't show it a and away. You'll be in a big trouble. Uh, sir, what about beta? Beta, I'm going to I'm going to put this one. Again, same thing here. This will be beta. Look at alpha and omega, because omega decreases here. Here, omega increases. Both are in same sense. Uh, but uh, how, how alpha and omega actually are not here in this curve world. How, uh, this is not the action of alpha, the only sense for our understanding purpose. How, here alpha and omega will be out of the plane. Look at this one. Here what happened? Omega will be out of the plane, alpha will be into the plane. This is only sense of rotation. For our convenient purpose, we have brought it. This arrow is not direction of omega. I'm making clear. This arrow is not direction of alpha. Omega will be into the plane, alpha will be out of the plane. So here I'll write it. Omega will be out of the plane. Alpha will be into the plane. Here omega Okay, I love you. So we'll uh, this is about the theoretical back huh? thing. Okay, just uh, uh, what all I said, digest it. Tomorrow we'll focus on the problems. It's very easy. Already we know kinematics. We are up, going to apply the same kinematics equation for circular motion.
at a stretch we can wind up everything kinematics for tomorrow 